Today we will be uh, doing shockwave to the hand. We want to use the medium head on this machine. It's a 15mm head, as you can see here. There are two other heads, a 6mm head and a 30mm head. I'm just going to reapply the rubber coating. It helps to uh, keep the heat off the patient and to uh, make the shock a little bit softer. I'm going to go ahead and do the settings. We want 60 millijoules. We're going to do 2,000 shocks. And we're going to do that at 10 hertz. Move on to applying some gel to the hand. You don't actually need gel for this machine. You can do the shock wave with just the supplied oil although the gel does help to protect the skin keeps the heat away from the patient and allows okay, the uh, mm -hmm. um, gel to evaporate a little bit during the treatment you press the foot plate to begin the shockwave therapy as you probably just heard there I placed the foot plate and the shockwave therapy didn't immediately begin it's because sometimes I don't press the foot plate correctly we're going now Moving the head around, just picking up gel and working around the problem area in the hand. We're looking for a change really in resonance to move around the hand. A higher tinier sound is not the right area. A lower, deeper, resonant sound is the correct area. You can usually tell if you're on the correct area because the patient will be in pain and obviously show degree of distress on the face and once you find the right area you want to hold there for usually two to four hundred shocks although it doesn't really matter how long you hold for you do want to hold on the uh, worst areas for a period of time some people in the literature have actually done treatment as divided areas and we do 200 shocks on each area and move around. Some people move the shockwave head in almost a massaging fashion and then just concentrate on the area as it can. Obviously if you were doing an Achilles tendon or a bony heel spur you would probably just pick an area and focus on that area although that does tend to be quite painful and in fact can be damaging to the skin. You don't want to get too much redness and bruising on the skin if you can help it. See here we're just moving around still picking up gel and finding the resonant areas periodically just stopping on the resonant areas to uh, concentrate for two to four hundred shocks there always keeping an eye on the patient's face to see how much pain they're in if you stop in an area for too long you often find that the uh, patients will start to sweat and they often feel a bit uh, dizzy or lightheaded and can go quite pale so you don't want to uh, get those effects if you can help it. Just move around, pick up more gel, go back to the resonant areas. You can probably hear the difference on the video. You certainly get used to hearing the difference in uh, real life. And uh, as long as the patient's tolerating the treatment, we'll run right up here to 2,000 shots.